Hi, I'm Danny Griffin, the founder of the Griffin Realty Group with a special real estate market update regarding the effects of COVID-19. Now, of course, our first concern is that you stay safe and follow best practices by visiting Mass dot gov and cdc.gov to stay up with the latest statistics and what you can do to protect yourself and your loved ones. Of course, our second concern is to keep you updated on the effects of COVID-19 on the real estate market. So here's what happened over the last week that is worth mentioning. There were 6.6 .6 million new unemployment claims Nearly 10 million new un unemployment claims have happened in the last two weeks alone, and 701,000 jobs were lost in March. Now, clearly, all of that has come in a very short period of time and has a negative psychological effect on the marketplace. However, we believe it's important to keep updated on what's actually happened in the real estate market, especially the markets that we cover, by going to the, the facts. So according to MLS PIN, the marketplace for Boston's residential real estate, here's what happened in the downtown Boston market over the last several weeks. From March 22nd through March 28th, there were 26 new listings. 15 listings went under contract or pending, and 19 listings were sold. Compa compared to the uh, week of March the 29th through April the 4th, there were 27 new listings. That represents an, a 4% increase week over week. 10% listings went under contract, a whopping 33% decrease, and 28% li uh, 28 listings sold for a 47% increase. So it's important to notice several increases there week over week as the news continued to worsen. Next, according to the Cape Cod and Islands MLS, the marketplace for Cape Cod residential property, here's what happened over the last several weeks. From March 22nd through March 28th, there were 75 new listings. 58 listings went under contract. 84 listings sold. Compared to the week of March the 28th through April the 4th, where there were 45 listings, new listings, for a 40% decrease week over week, 43 listings went under contract or pending, representing a 26% decrease, and 78 listings sold, representing a 7% decrease. So it's important to take a look at those factors and understand that Albeit the news is negative, generally, the marketplace is being effective, affected in certain ways, but there is still activity. And so what we feel is that there's a compression of, of new listings coming on as people delay the time period, but there are still active buyers that must move. So there are must sell sellers and must buy buyers still continuing to, to make their way through the marketplace, albeit under different circumstances and practicing, of course, social distancing. Now, if you're a seller in a market like this, there's clearly declining inventory, yet there are competitors coming on. Now, whether those are must sell sellers or just people that are being more aggressive and more cautious, there, there is new inventory. So it's okay to wait if you feel that that's in your best interest, but be fully aware that new competition is coming on. And when there's less competition and still a robust bunch of buyers looking, it's important to understand that you could be in a better competitive position. And so what you would do, even if you're going to delay it, is begin the projects that add the most easy to add value while you're home, and that's deep cleaning inside and of course if it's appropriate having a landscaper come outside and clean outside that is best practices to increase the value prior to listing and prior to marketing such as pictures etc for buyers there there's no doubt that you'll be practicing differently with your real estate agent as you practice social distancing, but properties are still being shown and they're still available to be, be shown, especially vacant properties. But if you're delaying, it's important to get with your mortgage broker or your lender to do your math know exactly what the new rates will do to affect your ability to purchase a property and will your buying power go up with the lower rates as some of these listing prices come down with have to sell sellers, okay? Again, finally, our priority number one is that you keep yourself safe. So you can do that by following best practices as delineated at mass.gov and cdc.gov. And of course, we wish all of you that are on the front lines in the medical industry our best wishes. Keep yourselves safe as you do your best to keep us safe. We'll see you in the next update.